Hello and welcome back. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick uh, review, uh, review thoughts uh, about this, the Lone Rider motor case. If that's any interest to you, stay tuned and uh, I'll have some, some thoughts on it. So this is the 42 litre Lone Rider Moto case. Um, I've had it for a few, had it for a few months now. Uh, I've, I've done probably two and a half, three thousand 3000 miles with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not really a full review. I mean, it's, it's a top box. Uh, Lone Rider themselves have reviewed it, showcased it. Um, there's really not a lot else for me to personally say in that regard, but I just wanted to give my thoughts. So you know, obviously one of the big highlight, you know, features of the Moto case is that um, it has these, has these Molly, Molly attachment, Molly attachment panels on the side. Um, I've not really used these a great deal. Um, when I went away recently with my partner, uh, I had a little bag, you know, you know, clipped on there just for, you know, odds and you know, odds and sods in there. Um, but I do plan on getting, getting a couple of their micro bags in the near future. Um, I did take the option of, you know, coding it to my BMW key. I'll mention more about that in a moment, but you know, as you would expect, that works absolutely fine. And we can get into the moto case. I really like the eyed, I really like the fact that these, you know, hinges, they stay wherever you, wherever you put them. Um, so you can have it open to any, any, any angle you want. I like the fact that they give you an included net. Uh, also, uh, a little light there, which I've not had the, not had the chance to use yet uh, at night. I also enjoyed enjoyed the fact that you get this this sort of rubber neo, neoprene liner, which you know stops things from bouncing around too much. My only two two or three gripes with it are that in order to code the key for the lock, um, I had to. In the instructions, it in the instructions it basically tells you to insert your BMW key into the lock without any wafers in there, um, and to to basically loosen up the lock. And it says do this ten times, and it will become loose. It took a lot more. Um, it took a lot of effort to loosen the lock up. Um, which was was the main sort of negative, as it really felt that I was like I was going to break break the damn break the damn key off inside it. According to the website, it comes already in the position ready for your motorcycle, or at least that's the way I read it. Maybe I maybe I'm wrong, but I actually had to move the top box back and also take the, take the take the included backrest off. Um, my partner, when we, the, the, the first time she sat on it, now bearing in mind, she's only four foot seven, so she's not big. Um, she was lent and hunched right, right forward. So the case came, I don't know if you'll see it on the video. The case came now that in there, there's four red sort of plastic pucks that are what engage it into, uh, the actual, into the actual plate. And I had to move it so it's on the it's on the most furthest you know back one. Um, I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. It was you know some some bolts and that was it. But yeah, I had to move it back as far as it would go. Otherwise, it just wasn't you know comfy for either of us. Um, it's a great case. It's <laughs> I'd say it's probably the most exquisitely made case that I've used. I've had an SW Motec one and also a Jivy. Um, and I would say this is a level above in terms of the quality uh, and the uh, and the actual build. Hello again. I forgot something um, when I was giving my feedback about things I, I wasn't so keen on with the Lone Rider 
motor case there is one extra thing um, it's not a gripe it's not a bad thing per se it's just a personal it's a personal preference thing let me let me spin let me spin the camera around and show you so the bag that they give you you know you know as a bag it's great it's water water waterproof uh really well made my only criticism or wish is that you had a board that you if you've got the moto bags you'll know that they have a sort of rigid board in them i wish this bag had something you know similar to give it a bit of form it sort of you know falls in on itself and it, you know even when there's a fair amount of you know stuff in there it i just wish it kind of kept it it its form a, a bit more and unless i'm being stupid you're supposed to be able to clip these to the these uh, when i can get it in shot these sort of pegs here which uh i currently have the included you know i i have the included uh net on and you can't really clip them both on at the same time it, it'll go on but it won't stay on i wish that post was a bit longer so that you could have you know both maybe in the instructions i'm you know missing something um but yeah that was the last bit of feedback that i had yeah so that's everything i wanted to say about the lone rider motor case uh if you like this sort of thing uh please subscribe i'm going to try and do you know other bits and bobs so yeah thank you for watching see you next time